Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today I have another unique break. I will be opening this 1973 Topps Wax Pack. This is a beauty. Uh, I've been meaning to open it. I actually have about five of these, um, but this one is ungraded. I did send it to PSA and it came back as, uh, basically, uh, they it came back questionable. They didn't say it was altered or opened in any way. Uh, they just said they couldn't authenticate it. And when I asked them why, they said it, uh, basically because the gum was loose, they felt that I don't know, for whatever reason, that was enough evidence for them not to do it, but that's not true. I have other packs graded by PSA. I don't know if the gum got loose after they graded or what, but for whatever reason, they did not grade this one. However, if you take a look at it, uh, you probably can't see through the video, but there's uh, what's called roller marks, which is one thing you want to look for when you're buying vintage wax. And basically, once these get sealed up, they go through like uh, an assembly line, like a little machine that uh, just like a little roller that seals them. So you can see the marks if you're holding them real close and you want to make sure that the mark on this flap matches the mark on this flap. Okay, because it's almost impossible for someone to reseal them and get the marks to match. Another thing you want to make sure is that you want to make sure each corner is almost as perfect of a 90 degree angle as it can be. Uh, that's another thing because it's really hard when you reseal them to try to get them perfectly square. And then also, if the gum is loose, again, that doesn't mean that it's been opened, but for some reason that was enough for PSA to question it, but I absolutely do not question it myself. Again, like I said, I have five of these, graded by PSA and raw, and um, they all pretty much look the same. But one thing that you do wanna check for, as far as the gum goes, is the size of the gum. You see how this gum is kinda wide? You see, it's about a little bit over an inch wide. That is the proper size gum for 1973 Topps Wax Pack, okay? Um, if you go to like the 80s, uh, the gum starts getting thinner. Unless it's football, I believe football has some pretty thick pieces of gum. It's kind of odd. Uh, and then of course, Topps Bowman, uh, that kind of varies. But as far as for these Topps packs, uh, based on my experience of opening these, uh, the gum is proper. So anyway, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to crack right into this baby. I have a nice uh, stack of my beautiful card saver ones here. Uh, so I can go ahead and pull some monster and send it to PSA. And um, they didn't grade the pack, but I sure as hope they grade the cards. Okay, I'm sure they will. So here it goes. Go ahead and set that here. Okay. So far, the wax looks consistent. Okay, so the wax stain that was here and here looks consistent on the card. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. Again, see? Nice, wide piece of gum. So I don't know if you can zoom in here, but it's not, uh, it's not one of the thinner gums. Anyway, I don't know. It looks accurate. The size, the, the, the height of it, everything. Anyway. Looks pretty good to me so far. Let's see who we got here. Okay, that was a little weird. I've never seen the cards like that. Um, although, again, you never know, guys. They didn't have the best quality control, if any at all, back then. So, Dave Johnson. Bob Locker. I mean, look at the centering on these cards. Seriously, and you ever open up a 73 pack with centering like this? Look at that. Did you see this one? Wow. Bob Didier. Again, centering's pretty good. Bob Fenwick. Again, pretty awesome centering. At least on the front, the back looks pretty bad. Billy Wilson. F 
Fred Bean. Not to be confused with Billy Bean. Okay. And then who is this? Rookie Pitchers. Again, amazing condition. These are super clean. Del Crandall. New York Yankees team card. Off center, but super sharp. There we go. And Wayne Garrett. Again, centering is beautiful on these cards. Okay, there was, guys. One pack of 1973 tops. Uh, again, a little questionable on the way they were organized, but, I mean, judging by the conditions of them, the centering, the... I mean, I doubt if anybody did reseal these that, I, I don't know, I know they're all commons, but they're such amazing condition. I mean, you'd have to be a fool to uh, not have kept some of these amazing cards. Anyhow, thanks for joining me, guys. And that was one pack of 1973 Topps Baseball. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And there's more great breaks coming soon. All right, thanks again, guys.